Tonight's next question is about immunosuppressive drugs and their impact on vaccines. Pamela and Jeffrey wrote in wondering if rheumatoid arthritis treatment, infusions and medications can negate the protections of the COVID vaccines. Questions popped up a couple of times and Pamela specifically said she got tested for antibodies and they didn't show up. So we went to Dr. Lisa Davis, specialist in rheumatology at Denver Health, and she said, first off, it's not clear that antibodies are the strongest indicator of resistance to COVID. But she says there is some level of concern if somebody's been vaccinated and those antibodies are not showing up in tests. You were asking if somebody had infusions for their rheumatoid arthritis, if that could impact their ability to respond to the vaccine. And the answer is, yes, we think so. So if somebody is receiving monthly infusions for their rheumatoid arthritis, typically we're going to ask that they space out those infusions around the vaccine and also hold methotrexate, like the case you mentioned, about a week around the COVID vaccine so that somebody can develop a good response to it. When somebody actually has a good immune response to their COVID vaccine, the other thing I want to emphasize is that continuing to receive monthly infusions, that does not impact their response. These are such common medications. We want to spend some time trying to explain this at length. Dr. Davis says, even if your immune response is blunted, it is still recommended that you get the vaccine. Just make sure you're talking with your doctor about the timing of your vaccine and your immunosuppressants. Here's the deal. You got a question on any topic, I guarantee you, you are not the only Colorado wondering about it. And we are in the business of answers delivered nightly. So record a video or voice memo of your question and email it to us at next at 9deuce.com.